Hi and welcome to Santa's workshop. We seem to have a lot of problems with the computer tonight, but it will not change mics, it will not change cameras, it will not anything. So, but we are on and we will put some light on here. Right? get in the Christmas mood, even though it can be a little, uh, little tough when everything is messing with you. So I will put the camera up a bit so you can see what I am doing. I pointed a little downwards. I don't hope you get seasick. So, you cannot see the fine light over in the corner, but as soon as I stand there, you can't see it anyway, so. I'm trying. So, shall we see what you can see there? Yes. I think that will work. See, I have made this one. The roof is, oopsie, the roof is kind of, oops, yeah. like this. So, and uh, of course it's a uh, battery driven light, it's not a real one because that will catch fire in a second so don't do that so to make one of those oh my mic so, I made a drawing on the uh, cardboard and uh, pretty simple uh, I will, oops, I will take, I'll tilt those anyway in a moment when I start to moving around the stop. See, I forgot a stroke here, I can see how far down is one centimeter. In. Have I remember record? Yes. You know when things don't go as you expected, then you start to make a lot of mistakes. Just before this, I had the kids workshop and then the computer crashed. So, you know. so, just on the cardboard like this, and you can see it's pretty simple. They are small here and a little wider in the top, so you get this uh, kind of, uh, 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 what shall we call that, uh, pyramid shaped, turned around, <laughs> uh, and uh, then uh, just across in the, in the window and uh, you can make it much smaller than this and you can make it bigger than this. That depends on what you want to do with it. So I think it's kind of stormy outside tonight. So, oops. I forgot to more. So, like this. And then it's just to cut it out, and that we will do as fast as we can. Oops, maybe we should cut all the way through. And 
Yes, the roof. But, uh, and we're doing the same over here. And the good part of this is that we can do it all with a ruler, so we don't have to do it freehand. And you can do it with an ordinary hobby knife. You don't need a scalpel to do it. And and you can make them small and then hang them on on the tree if you want. said yesterday, oops, that's some clear stuff. You can use something like this, metallic or something, but it's not easy for you to see when I do it so because of the light in the ceiling. That's a lot of reflection. Top here is the part we are bending in. If you want to glue the, the roof on, and these in the side uh, here is the ones who we uh, glue the sides to. Don't make them too small, and then they are difficult. To bend, but I will show you how to bend them on a good way, so you get nice, uh, nice, uh, nice corners on it. There is a little trick to that. This is something you should do with your children or grandchildren a Sunday afternoon or over some hot cocoa or something like that. And home baked stuff. That's a tradition we have in our country. Once one, one at Christmas time, we kind of sit together and do a lot of this. Have a little time and put the phone away and the laptop or the iPad or whatever. Talk to the kids.
even that they probably would rather go down and play Minecraft on the computer. But when they grow up they will remember days like that. some hooks. Yeah. So we can see inside. It's a shame that we cannot play some Christmas music in a podcast, but we are not allowed to. It's a shame.
and be very careful with all the the light stuff and paper decorations. One year my neighbor or the lady who lived under me had nearly burnt our everything down to the ground because she was falling she was falling asleep with some candle stuff on the tele television. Never put anything on top of the television. But nowadays they are all flat. So and that's a good thing. Nobody can put a lot of stuff on it. Because the problem with the plastic that is a kind of a fuel. It burns like crazy. And first it gets fire. And you don't forget soon when the police come in the middle of the night while you are sound asleep and kick on the door with the big boots and screaming, there's fire, there's fire, get out. And you kind of wake up very fast. Since then, every time it smells weird, then I think something is burning. I kind of get a little allergic to it. At least I did. So, and we can look inside or outside or whatever. See, now our tricks comes. See, if you just try to bend this, you get these. And you see, yes, you get these uh, nasty bends. And even if you, is that, this is against, see, you guess this, that's not good. So, we can a trick, we know a trick. See, this is bone, but you can use a butter knife or something that's not sharp, but uh, kind of smooth. Uh, pointy but uh, kind of uh, uh, smooth in the, on the point. But this is what uh, the guys who make book in old days, they use this. Uh, on Danish is, uh, if you translate directly, it's a folding bone. But, uh, and that's what we have. So you place a tip of this on the edge and then like you will cut it but you don't cut you don't you just make a groove in it and then it will bend really fine without any cracks and you apply a certain pressure to it depending on what you use. You don't want to cut through 
if you bought a knife is too sharp. Find something that's not. You can use a ballpoint pen, but uh, especially if you save one, there are no ink in. So you don't get the blue ink all over the place. And some, somehow bone is better than plastic. I also use this when I model stuff for the stop motion. It's a very good tool for all of stuff. I have had it, not this one, but a, a similar one because I've lost somehow the old one, but it looks precise the same. I have had it all my life, nearly. So, oh, a similar one. This is the first and second one I have. I usually don't throw my tools away. And you can buy them, at least in my country, here in Denmark, uh, in the shops where you buy hobby stuff, craft stuff. So this, 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 and this, and whoops, not that one. You, not that one. But it will. So, you see, now when you do like this, it bends so nice without. But we will bend these first. So when you bend these small, uh, small pieces here, you do like this. Lift up the one end here and then put this under it. So, and this too, just a nail down under it. And of course, they can got, they can be a little tricky when they are the small as these are. Summer cottage or something like that, and I have forgotten this and holding Christmas in in Sweden, for example, and uh, and we are making stuff like this, and I have forgotten this one. I know it's kind of difficult to make these corners, whatever you are making. Oops. 
see they are all nicely bent no not this one premature declaration but now they are so and then we put some blue on and I recommend I, I suggest you use glue stick or uh, super glue because if you do use any glue like white uh, white hobby glue like uh, this I used the wood and that kind of stuff or something like this there are water in this and the paper uh, really go wrong when you you use that I know they say it's good for paper and for paper but it's yeah if you glue two pieces on top of each other but they they kind of get curly and that's not good for anything at least not this so don't do that use this so now we bend a little like this like this and like this and we have a house or a lamp or what we should call it so the seven small dwarf can go to work and I need a new glue stick but this is what the one I have and this is the one we use oops see don't get glue all over stuff see Don't do as I do, but do as I say. Isn't that what we usually Come on. See? And then to the other side. And nice corners on them. Sharp. I like that. And then we can pull the strings to the battery on this one and turn it on without burning your fingers. And then we do the last one. Oops. It's storming. The trees are falling. So, we just do this one. And then, we have made a new little fun thing. Yeah. 
if I had had the time today, I would have made a small one too. They can be kind of nice too. You can make them so small that you can hang them on the tree. That kind of. But if you go to my site, pixelfantasy.com, there you can also see I have made drums and Christmas hearts and whatnot. A lot of stuff. Um, and every year there comes a little bit more. But no, we don't need this. You know, it always, when you sit around the table and want to start this, and then what shall we do? question then is and then you can go in there and see and you are not getting spammed and I are not know anything on the site and it is a secure site so don't be afraid you are not up to any mischief just like to make stuff like this. Oops. Go to the past. But, uh, it's when everything is going bad. You start to hasten with everything. So, and as you can see, in mine here, I have put uh, like this acetate or whatever it is, kind of, uh, inside. You can do that too, but, uh, and this I have from an old chocolate box, so I always uh, save stuff like this because you never know, so you can see mine are closed. But uh, yes, you can see mine are closed. This is open. You can ch choose whatever you want. But if you have something, a lot of stuff comes in that kind of things nowadays. So that was the one we made today, and <coughs> tomorrow we will make something else who knows what that will be but i will say thank you for following me and hope you will have fun making it so bye bye